Assalamu alaikum. So I wanted to talk a little bit about some conversations that are going on underneath the posts that I made about the four white poisons. Um, if you don't know who I am, my name is Mubarak Ibrahim. I am a health and happiness coach, and you can find me on all platforms as Fit Muslima with an A-H at the end. So one of the things that I often hear from people is you can't tell people not to eat certain things because it's going to create a bad relationship with food. Sis, they are already 80 pounds overweight. I think they already have a bad relationship with food. Telling them not to eat things that are go that's going to exacerbate that situation is not going to create a bad relationship with food. Teaching people how food affects their gl the glycemic index, affects their insulin level, and their weight is not going to create a bad relationship with food. And telling people not to eat certain foods, even if they are quote unquote natural, is not going to create a bad relationship with food. We have an obesity epidemic. We already have an epidemic of bad relationships with food. <laughs> food has become the frenemy. So telling people and teaching people how food affects their body can only help them to understand how to eat better to achieve their health and their wellness goals. So I personally do not come from the approach of coddling people when it comes to weight loss. This is what science tells us. This is what works. You either trust the process and believe the science or you don't. And if you don't, good luck with that. My point of telling people what foods affects their insulin level, well, let me say it like this. If somebody has a health problem, I'll give you an example. I have a friend who has arthritis and every time they eat red meat, it flares up their arthritis. Their illness is the arthritis. When I tell them not to eat red meat, no one says, don't say that because it's going to create a bad relationship with food. I'm telling them to avoid the food that aggravates the illness. Diabetes is an illness. If someone tells you, hey, you should not have honey because it is going to spike your insulin level, which is dangerous when you have diabetes, no one is going to say, oh, don't tell them not to eat honey because it is going to create a bad relationship with food. You're telling them not to eat an entire food that is going to actually make their illness worse. Sis, obesity is a metabolic disorder. It is an illness. If someone has an illness, you tell them what foods aggravate that illness. What foods make that illness worse? That is what I am doing. Now, if you are the type of person that you like to be coddled, that you like somebody to tell you, oh, you know what? You should eat everything in moderation. Sorry, I ain't the one. And I understand, I'm not for everybody. And I am absolutely okay with that. But if you want to know based on science and research exactly what it is that you should and should not be consuming and how you should move in order for you to take control of your health, specifically take control of your weight, then feel free to follow me. If not, I'll see you when I see you. Assalamu alaikum.